Hello and welcome back to some Akuma MC Skyblock. I've not done a lot since the last time because there isn't a lot for me to do in terms of AFKing and making money, but that changes today. Number one, I went ahead and built a massive wheat farm from uh, border to border. Uh, I couldn't finish it because it costs a lot to actually build this. Now, the reason that I went ahead and set up wheat instead of potatoes, wheat is cheaper for one. Also because I have a quest on or a mission contract to farm a thousand wheat on my island. So I got to do that. I'll probably end up doing the second side as potatoes. I don't really know, but that'll happen slowly. For now, I'm not going to be selling any wheat, or sorry, any potatoes. I want to save my potatoes, but I believe these are sellable for $600. That's 300 per, which is pretty damn good. Other than that, I do have some things to open. I'm going to save this for later, uh, and I've got these here. Um, I'll probably go ahead and set up my grinder, and then I'll open these, uh, and actually these as well. I might as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put my keys up. I will save them for a little bit, probably uh, probably at the end of the opening. They're not the most exciting thing, but I get a lot of keys. I might as well just, you know, bulk, shave them up, and open them when it's time. Now, there is a thing I do need to make or need to get to make this the best possible farm ever. Um, but I can't do that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and get it started in the best possible way, and then I'll upgrade it and make it better later on. Now, one thing I do want to look into is a fire scroll. It's 10,000 gems, but I could throw it on one of these guys. So here's what I'm gonna do. This I... did I already add it to this? I don't know. I'm just gonna do that just to be safe. I'm gonna put this here to mark the corner. And then I'm actually going to do it with this. Let me make sure it is, in fact, turned on. I did turn it on. I want to basically make this area a nice little glass, like, top so I can look down at my dudes and be like, ah, look at them doing their thing. It's beautiful. Uh, and to do that, I am going to make it so that I can fast place glass. I need at least three more stacks. I feel like that'll be good. Uh, let me go ahead. Do I fast place on or off? It is off. I want to go down a bit. This won't be the end of it. I've still got to do a little bit more, which I'm probably, not even probably, I'm going to need more cobble for. Let me go to miscellaneous. I'm going to buy two stacks of lava buckets. It's just the best way to go about it, and I'm just gonna kind of place it all kind of sporadically, but like, you know, I, I don't really care if it's even. Okay, so this is all set up. The only other thing that I do need is I, I keep going to, P to, uh, blah, blah, to PV2, and I meant to go to this one. Um, I gotta find the middle point, and the best way to do that is to line up with this blue line there and this blue line here. That, no, wait. Wait, yeah, 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 sorry, yeah. So there's the hopper that we need, the uh, the chunk hopper. Other than that, I need normal hoppers. They're 10,000 apiece. Oh, I need uh, one, two, three, it looks like, which is not too bad. I can afford that. So they'll die down there. All of their drops will go up into there, and we will be able to sell them down here. Now, a singular spider eye sells for 36 bucks, which is not a lot. Now, if we actually look at mob drops, we can see some of the prices. Um, so 36 for a singular I. Now, iron golems, I think, drop iron ingots, which is 15. My wheat farm's still taking some time to grow, so I think what I'll go ahead and do is open a few things. I did say I was gonna build that and open them, so let's go ahead and do it. Two epic airdrops. Give me something good. I got another spider spawner, which I can go ahead and just do that, and it'll go into the area. I've got another blaze spawner, which is absolutely massive, and I've got two enderman spawners. If I'm not mistaken, are these guys... They're part of the, the ones you have to kill... Ah, okay, so I'm gonna put them over here, that way I can slap them around a little bit. There's no more salvage, so it kinda sucks getting pets, like, they don't really help me. I guess they do if it's an upgrade, but there's nothing I can do with the old ones. Ooh, ooh, shell wands with some massive usages, and you can actually stack them on top of each other, which makes them even better. I've got a silverfish spawner and two iron golem spawners, that puts me at eight of those guys, and of course the silverfish, which, if I'm not mistaken, is a very good spawner. I'm gonna go ahead and open up our first V-Kid cluster. Bam! Give me something good. Money, XP, keys, and Iron Golem Swallows, 15 of them. That is massive. That is absolutely massive. I know you can do better than that. I believe... I believed in you. Well, 15 Iron Golems. Uh, oh, is that the max stack size now? Is 10, huh? Oh. Oh, wait, I've hit... Oh, I've hit the max spawner limit. Yeah, whoa, hello! Mythic! Um, you have levels on you, but are you just auto better? You are just straight up better just by being 
that quality. That is insane. So here we go, level six. That means I can go ahead and do IS stats. That is enough to get this leveled up. What does it go to? 50? Oh, that's kind of brutal. That means I definitely got to get rid of any spawners that are not worth it. So I think I get rid of the zom... Yeah, I'll get rid of the zombies for now. Where did I get 129 million from? Did someone give me money or did I get that from the openables? I guess I'll see in the replay. I also have 31,000 gems. What do I do with the 129 million? I really don't know. Are my potatoes grown? No. 60,000 for witch spawners. I can buy two of them. Or, and number one, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am actually going to go ahead and finish this up. Now, based off how many potatoes I put down already, I should only need to buy... <gasps> Excuse me. I should only need to buy about four stacks, which is not a lot of money. I mean, it's $2.5 million, and considering I don't really have anything giving me income, it's a lot of money. I've got some keys to open. Let me go ahead and sort them out. I've got vote keys, common keys, I've got rare, and legendary. I'm gonna start off with the vote keys, so let's warp to the crates, see what we get. I think the vote keys are actually better than common. So you know what? Let's start with the common, then. Uh, let's just bulk open all of these and get a bunch of things. This is just free money. This is literally just free money. Literally 2 million for cow spawners, 1.5 million for pig spawners. Absolutely beautiful. I got vote keys. I'm going to do these next because I'm pretty sure that rare are better than... Uh, they're about uh, on par with each other, but 47 rare keys. Oh my god. Oh, three more. Might as well. It's hard to keep track of everything it gives me. It's just a lot. You know what, in case I get more pet eggs, let me just go ahead and use these legendary keys and see what I get. Uh, I, got, I did, in fact, get another pet egg. I mostly got money and other things, which are always good. So how many, uh, how many spawners am I at right now, does it say? Current spawners, 49 out of 50. I would not have enough with those Endermen there. How much are these Endermen spawners gonna go for? 8 million? Oh my god, that is insane. I'm hoping this gets me pretty close to my 1,000 wheat. I don't want to do this too, too much. I just want to basically get this farm set up for potatoes and then eventually carrots and so on and so forth. But potatoes right now are going to make me the most money, I do believe. So that is, I mean, about half. It'll take some time still, but that's okay. We'll do a little bit of mining. So let me activate my... I don't have a mining pet on me. I was like, let me activate my miner pet. Let me get him, let me get him in my hotbar. Let's get him activated. Get him the mining. Just, you know, make that sick, sick money. Now, I don't know if this is... Or how decent this is for money. That's five lapis right there. Can I pick that up? Sure can. My lapis now. Hoo 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 hoo. I know fishing is probably the best for making money. But I kind of just really enjoy some mining. Oh, I have 65,000 gems, by the way. But the problem is I don't really know what to spend gems on anymore. There's not really much to spend them on. I guess scrolls. Scrolls are a big one. We are now island level 7. That is huge. Let me actually go ahead and see something. Okay, hopper limit's gonna have to get upgraded eventually, but for now it's fine. Mm-mm. There's not really anything good to upgrade at the moment. I think I just saved my points up. Ooh, I got a book. That is actually massive. And you know the cool thing is, because of the new rank changes, I can actually do... Uh, not that, sorry. Enchanter from here and open this beautiful book up. So I can get Book Hunter, Fortune, Speed. Why don't can I just, like... Oh, no, is it... Does, does that... Okay, it, it's... No, it, it does break it. Oh, it just gives me one automatically if I do that. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't want a speed book. That's my bad. I wanted to test it for science to see if there was a way to, like, refresh the enchants, if there was a way to abuse it. There's not, which is a good thing. Oop, Turbo Miner. Love Turbo Miner. Turbo Miner is, uh, now my favorite enchant again. It used to be just efficiency precision mining combination, but, uh, now they've removed precision mining. So it's, uh, it's very unfortunate. Give me something good this time. Energy Infusion. Enriches nearby ores, tearing them up. Midas Touch. Uh, enriches blo mine blocks, turning them into their block version. Or Fortune. I kind of want to get the block version. I feel like that's going to be sicker. Are there any other skills I want to work on? Hmm, I could work on fishing a bit, but I kind of want to get to 15 now. I'm, I got a feeling determined to get to 15. Let's go! Island level 8! Dude, I love the island level feature. Like, it, it just gives you more freedom to upgrade your island how you want, which is nice. And that's what I love about Akuma. Every season feels different for the most part and if you guys want to join the server all the information is down in the description below come and join the number one prisons and skyblock server of 20 
24. You won't want to miss out, guys. I promise you. They got a massive prison season right around the corner. I should make another million here, which is actually pretty freaking massive, considering, how, like... I mean, it takes a bit to get an inventory, but if I just get 60 million, that's a witch spawner. And I guess one thing I do want to do is actually go ahead and mine a little bit with the gold and see how much we can make. Probably fill up my inventory uh, to the maximum and then sell everything and see how much of a difference it is. Spawns explosive errors, which are right down from above, breaking any block in their path. Archaeologist and book hunter. Honestly, I'm going to go book hunter. I think book hunter's the one. You know, I, it just feels like the one. I need more books. Oh, I'm almost to level 10 on my, uh, on my island, and I'm almost to level 15 on my mining skill. And then I'll probably do a little bit of fishing, just to see how many levels I can get, maybe hit a milestone on that. Um, I feel like that's a good way. Get to a, get to a milestone for each skill, except for logging, which I haven't touched yet. I kind of want to see what is the best skill for making money, gems, etc., um, because this one's decent for XP, it's decent for money, it's pretty decent for gems. And gold mine! Let me go ahead and do a quick sell all, and let's get to mining. So there was a little less than a million for that iron, but that's okay, it was close enough. Speed, fortune, efficiency. I could throw that on my other tool, it would be nice. Could also upgrade fortune. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this. Mining skill level 16, and almost to island level 11. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a sell all. I have a feeling this is going to be a lot. 1.26 million for 901 items. I want to see something. So the last one we got the... Hold up, where is it at? You've sold 1,200... I mean, you could see the difference. Literally, like, 300 less, and I made a lot more. How much is it for the next one? 43 levels. I don't know if I'm going to do that, because that is a lot of experience. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and put this lore book up, and I'll worry about it later and i'll uh i'll use three of these points on this might as well let's see what i get you yo bro get out the way I'm trying to fish here I'm trying to get a little bit of fishes little fishies you know yeah see so that guy was forty five thousand. i don't remember what it was originally like the the min to max of what we would get i know one of the highest i saw was a hundred thousand so we're getting fish that are selling for like 40, uh, 45 thousand on average which is pretty good like, obviously, I think mining is going to make me the most money. The only reason I think that this is going to be better than that skill in the long run, which I'm going to test roughly. I don't know the best way to go about it, but I want to do a video testing each skill to see which one is the best for making money. So look out for that video in the future. I'm definitely going to try it out. I will go ahead and tell you, I don't think farming is going to be on that list. Let's go level five. Okay. Let me do skills real fast. Let me check fishing. I've got two things here, a fishing speed boost and some rare keys. I'm actually not going to mess with the keys right now. Book Hunter, Avatar, Lore. I'm going to do Book Hunter because I can go ahead and actually slap that on something in the future. Uh, I'm not going to do it now. I'll slap it on up here with my pickaxe later on. So what I'm thinking, I can only buy, or I can only put down one spawner, but I want to buy two witch spawners. And since now my witches are the best spawner, I'm going to transfer over my scroll. I'm also going to go ahead and go to Gem Shop. What is it for another scroll? It's 50,000 for any type of scroll. Nah, let's get a scroll of loot. Slap that in there. How much is it to level it up, actually? Information. Oh. Oh, it shows you. Uh, well, this one's not there anymore. Lock scroll increases the chance of receiving gems and experience from robots. So scroll of luck is good. Increases, receive extra drops from your robots. So that could be good. It is 75,000 upgrade at one level. All right, well, give me more drops. And then what I can do, because I don't want to get rid of all of these guys, is I can do that. And I can go ahead and just sell hand on this one. Now, I'll have sugar in here, which I can sell for 1,980, uh, or 920, which is pretty damn good. It's not that bad. I mean, it'll slowly make me more and more as I fill these chests and stuff. But that is for the future. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you didn't, you haven't yet, leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more. Join the server. All the information down in the description. The number one prisons and skyblock one, uh, server of 2024. I'll see you guys in the next one.